Welcome back, YouTube. Today we've got another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown for you. So, we have the UFO crash site, and we are going to send in our Sky Ranger, and let's take a quick peek at our team. So, we've got Squatty W, Squatty Man, Sniper Butt, and we have Handy Henry, Handy Henrietta in our team today. So, uh, four squaddies, let's do it up and see what we got. Let's try and not get anyone killed today. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. All right, begin assault. Listen up, we're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. All right, this is our first UFO crash site. We have Operation Fallen Sleep. We got to locate the crashed UFO, sweep the area for surviving crew, and neutralize them, and avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Some components may be recoverable. Perfect. Let's try not to do any more damage than we have to, I guess. Watch the grenades and rockets. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. All right, a quick zoom out. Let's see what we're working with for a zone. Can't really see into the shadows anywhere, but I say we just go straight in and see if we can't find some aliens to kill. Let's zoom back in. Let's see what we got. All right. I'd like to have my sniper up before, yeah. Okay, this is Hand Sam Man. He's gonna be one of our hopefully main characters in the game. Let's get Snipe Butt in there and see what uh, she can see as well. Let's actually just keep her half movements and we'll do the same with everyone else as well. I feel comfortable being out in the open so far because we haven't run into any aliens and I'd rather not. Okay, we gotta switch guns. We can't overwatch with the sniper. So let's do that. Switch to the pistol. And then we can overwatch. Okay, close. We get it. And then same thing here. We'll switch to the pistol. And then we can overwatch. Let's see if there's any movements. And then we'll have a better idea where to go. Nothing. Alright, let's start with our support class, see if it can find anything. That's half cover, that's better than nothing. Not bad. Nothing so far. Let's try and stay in cover. Keep our snipers elevated slightly, it helps a little bit, and then... We'll overwatch and see if we can get any movements out of this. Switch back to the sniper and overwatch with the sniper. This feels a little better than the previous missions, having a couple more squaddies in here and snipers in general for the, the distant shots. Makes me feel a little bit safer. see anything. Nothing yet. I want to take this mission very, very safe. Felt real bad losing a soldier already in mission two. All right, our first indication where we're going. Did you hear something? don't quite like that. Let's move our support up first. Still nothing. 
Okay, let's get our snipers forward. Let's make sure we're ready for some overwatch shots. Try and take some people out good and early. We can kind of see in the top corner here some uh, parts of the UFO. That's probably where we want to be located. Uh, it's a dash. I'm not 100% set on that. We know that there's going to be some bad guys up there. I'd rather not totally expose myself quite yet. Keep our snipers in a little bit closer. And switch to our pistol so we can overwatch. And we're set. I feel like because we first had sound from the top, then over here this uh, pod of aliens is probably rotating back and forth patrolling. So if we kind of set up, we might be able to get a really good jump on the aliens. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. I'd rather keep our support in the back and keep our snipers on the full cover. He's in a good spot there. Whoops. And overwatch. We'll just take a couple turns to see if we can't uh, you hear that? catch a pod as it's uh, patrolling across. All right, onward we move. What? Uh, I'd rather keep some height. Height and half cover is a little better. Let's get our other lady up here as well. You know what? She can dash to full cover. Hopefully she doesn't activate a pod. Alright, perfect. We should be safe to be out in the open because we haven't activated a pod yet. And then we will overwatch. Maybe they're What's only that noise? Yeah, maybe they're only inside. Oh, we got a nice high cover here. That's good. Bring our other sniper. Uh, I like having our snipers in full cover. Alright. We're gonna make our move to try and breach in that doorway and see what happens. And anything yet? Oh yeah, here we go. Quiet. Did you hear something? We got three people behind full cover, which is a really good setup, and then we've got one behind half. Let's see if we can get the half cover behind full cover. This looks like a good spot, and then I think what we're going to do is just take a defensive turn and see if we can draw them out into some overwatch fire. Oh, darn, I didn't have my sniper equipped with my other sniper, so his overwatch is just a pistol, but that's okay. Remember, we don't want to destroy the UFO at all. What's making that noise? Because we can salvage some of it for probably credits or maybe some different resources to help get upgrades and such. Clear to engage. I had a big old whiff. <laughs> Airball. Not good. And he can't see either at this point, which is not good. Can she? Yes, but only a 28% chance to hit. 
maybe if we move over, she might have a slightly better shot. Nah, still only 28. We're behind full cover. I think it's still a good idea to just take the overwatches and see if we can hit them. We kind of shot out this wall, which I'm not too happy about, but that's okay. I don't like that mind meld. <laughs> Last time they did that, they uh, killed one of our guys. No! Only two damage. It's not terrible. We can, we can take that. Alright. Full cover down here. Hopefully this gives us a better shot on the angle. Still only 28. Let's take it. Oh, that's huge. That'll kill both. That is really, really good. With the mind meld, that'll definitely take out both. Still limiting the damage. It's probably still an easy mission, so there's probably only two more enemies left to kill. Let's try and get our snipers up as far as we can. And let's keep our crew as close together as possible, so we'll bring him over as well. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> I don't want to lose anybody. XCOM 2 is uh, far easier to keep your people alive. I guess it didn't kill the secondary one. That's okay, though. Can he see with the sniper? No. Can she see? No. He can't either. 48. That's really not so bad. Wonder if I should maybe move up to try and get a better shot yet, or to maybe allow my uh, heavy class to maybe take this spot and then he can also have a shot. Yeah, let's be aggressive. That's really bad. No! No! Alright, that's really, really not good. And I'm very concerned she's gonna die, so she needs to heal. <laughs> I should have been a little more defensive. I'm still kind of learning how how the aliens operate in this game. It's quite a bit different feeling than... Uh... Oh, he can't even reach that. It's not good. Well, we need him a little bit closer so he can see. 35% chance, we'll take it. He's down. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Squatty W. Alex W, you're saving the day with that one. Another mind melt, that's bad. I believe it gives them an extra health and increases their aim. Their own people are destroying their ship. This is not good. Why can't there... I think we need to get... Squad Sight as the upgrade. Like, they have the headshot ability, but I think in order for them to be able to see and be effective snipers, they really need that Squad Sight ability. So they can be a bit more long range. This is only half cover. I'm not a fan of that, but... I think we need to be a little more aggressive and get in there. I don't like half cover. Our readings can't oh be no! If there were, What's this? That's a being of almost pure energy. And can I get it with my sniper? Or er, my pistol, sorry. 54% chance to hit, but it does only up to 2 damage. Can I reach it with a grenade? I can, and it does three damage, but I'll damage the ship a lot, and I really don't want to do that, so you know what? We're just gonna take the pistol shot. It's a coin toss, we'll see. One damage, that's okay. It's a decent start. Okay. 
he can't see, but if we move him over, he might be in a spot where he can do something. And because of the height advantage, we have a slightly better shot than, uh, Snipe Butt has a slightly better shot than Han Sam's hand. So, Snipe Butt, let's do it! Oh, just one damage, both shots. Darn. I th really think we need to be behind full cover, if we can. A 35. What's Overwatch do? It doesn't really say what the accuracy is on it, but I don't really want them moving out and flanking our snipers because that feels very, very dangerous to me. Is there any full cover? That's what we need to find. I don't see any. Maybe we'll be able to take out the energy guy though. 48, 48. I think we gotta go for it. I can't hit the recoin toss. Darn. <laughs> you heard her. Damn it. <laughs> Henrietta, no! Uh, not another mind meld. This is so bad. What's he gonna do? Oh man, that's bad. We're gonna lose Henrietta. Let's see if she can get a heal off. She does not have another heal. I don't like that. I think we gotta take her back and get her behind full cover if we can. Alright, let's bust out the sniper. And see what he can do. 54% or 54. I think... With the sniper, does up to 5 damage. What's headshot do? Increased chance of critical hit, that's it. You know what? Let's take it. Come on, hand Sam. Sam, hit the headshot. First headshot of the game, and... Oh! Whiff. Oh, That's okay. That is okay. 55 with the pistol. Let's see what the sniper does. 55 with the sniper. Let's try a second headshot. Snipe butt, you got this. Nine damage on the critical. That is actually massive. That is so good. Okay, he can get in there and take a shot. I think we need to to hopefully save Henrietta. 35%. I actually am leaning towards maybe trying a rocket. I know it's going to damage the ship, but I cannot afford to lose another soldier. You cannot move and fire this weapon in the same turn? No! Can we get a grenade in there, though? I think we need to try and blow up cover, and then maybe Henrietta can finish him off. Let's try it. that take out the cover 68% will we be able to see from back here in full cover she has one health we have to move to full cover we don't really have a choice uh, let's do the overwatch yeah This is so tense. No! Oh, it's so close, Henrietta. You're so close. He's probably gonna go for our heavy because he's closest. Oh man, that is a miracle that he's alive. An absolute miracle. Oh, 24. Let's see. Snipe butt, Henrietta, Handsome Sam. So if we look at it in the bottom left corner, Handsome Sam has a star, and he is the only one. I believe that means he has a promotion 
from getting a kill on this map. So let's see if we can get a promotion for someone else. 35%, I'd really like to see our snipers get a promotion, but we already have one of our snipers getting a promotion, so let's see. Ah, uh, let's, let's just go for it with snipe butt as well, because if we can get the uh, squad sight ability, that makes our snipers so much more effective. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. Oh, that's huge. And I think there's just the one alien that'll be left in the back corner. We have two people at one health, which I don't really like, so I feel like our snipers are going to have to become our more aggressive crewmates here. Let's get in the half cover, and then we will switch to our pistol and overwatch, and I will try and keep our people safe. Let's do a reload. Back online. Let's use a smoke grenade, keep them absolutely safe, because I do not want them getting hurt at all. Smoke out. She's behind full cover and pretty far back, so she should be fine. No round. Let's see what the last alien has in store for us. Okay, we can't move with our people with one health. We gotta draw overwatch fire from our sniper. So hand Sam Sam, let's to withstand an impact like that. At such a velocity, what you can do for us. the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. And let's bring our other sniper up as well. I wonder if the smoke is this whole area? If we can see... How do we look at our people? Is there... I don't know. Let's just overwatch from where he is and hope he'll be safe. And then we can move her up to full cover and she needs to get a reload in as well. So that she can be effective with her assault rifle. Alien activity! What do we see? Oh, it's going to be in the far side. Come on, hit the overwatch. Oh, that's huge. I know it's only one damage, but we never know how much it'll take to get it. Alright, we have headshot up again. 54% chance to hit, and it's the same with just a sniper. Can we get our other sniper into a good position? It's not fantastic but it's doable. That's dashing it. I'd rather be in full cover. Chances are I don't think it can run all the way over and totally flank our sniper there, so. We'll do that. I like the idea of being more behind cover and we will overwatch. She only has one life, but let's overwatch her as well. And come on, hand Sam Sam. Let's do it. Please be the game changer. Oh, that is clutch. Chalk up another one. Five kills, zero deaths. <laughs> but I nearly lost two people. This is a very, very difficult game, even on normal. I am surprised. Alright, so five kills. Nobody lost. Looking good. Excellent job on the UFO crash site. Let's see what we get. Both of our snipers are absolutely fine, which is huge though, so... That's good. <laughs> that is good at least. Probably have to take some squaddies on the next mission, or some rookies, sorry. We have no promotions by the look of it. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, so 4 sectoid corpses, 10 Illyrium, 47 alien alloys, 10 weapon fragments, 2 UFO flight computers, and a UFO power source, and it's two, those two are damaged, but the rest of this looks pretty good, so. I think damaged stuff might only be usable for selling to the black market, if it's in this game. Alright, let's see. Uh, next event, satellite operational over China. Let's see if we can do anything in our barracks. So, a few soldiers, we have two snipers. Doesn't look like there's any promotions. So, let's see his abilities. Yeah, we can't. Uh, that's too bad. I really thought he, with the star beside him, that he had a promotion. Guess not. 
Uh, let's look at our engineering real quick. Build by items. No current projects. Ah, it's okay. Let's just check what we can get from mission control and then see what our next mission will be and set up our team for the day. Well, that's nervous. I feel like, hey, we're back on track. We did a mission. Didn't lose anybody. That's really good. So, scan for activity. Satellite coverage now available over China. Excavation complete. All right, assign new research. We have the arc thrower, codename Spark. I'll be quiet here. Uh, if you need a chance to pause, you'll have a chance to read through. All right, let's continue on. Let's see what our next research will be. New item, arc thrower. The arc thrower is a non-lethal sidearm designed to stun hostile targets. The mechanism seems to be most effective against weakened enemies. Use the build by item option from engineering to manufacture. I think that having a chance to stun them and capture them for autopsies and then get their plasma weapons is a huge advantage. So we probably want to get that going as soon as possible. Okay, weapon fragments. That's probably just upgrades our weapons, alien materials is probably armor, and sectoid autopsy, and that's five days. I think it might be faster if you catch more of them or kill more of them, so we're going to hold off on that for now. And I think it's important to... You know what? In this game, I'm feeling the armor. I expected that would be a in XCOM 2, I liked the uh, weapons. Commander. But in this, I'm really thinking to the armor is important. Alright, engineering. Let's see if we can buy items. I think we need a, an arc thrower for sure. Let's get one for now. Submit order. We have a med kit. I think we're good with one med kit for now. Okay, let's see if facilities. We have an alien containment. is one day out. We'll leave that for now and let's go back and see what mission control has, what our next mission will be. What's this? Alright, alien containment. Construction complete. Assign new construction. Let's see, new facilities. Alien containment is there. No, let's definitely not remove that. Okay, build facility. Laboratory. We can. Looks like we can only do a laboratory or a power generate. Now, we have 30 out of 37 power, so we're good for a little bit here. So each laboratory increases research speed by 20. Adjacency bonus is plus 10% increase to research speed. That's pretty good. Power generator just costs 60. Uh, gives extra power. I don't think we need more power at the moment. We don't have a laboratory, so maybe we should do laboratories across the top and get our research speed and then we can do power maybe down a floor an access lift yeah we can build it it takes five days not gonna worry about that quite yet but i think let's do laboratories across this top floor all right begin construction then we can see what our next mission is mission control scan for activity Alien materials are done. Let's see what that gives us. If you need to pause, here's a chance. All right, moving on. So nanofiber vest, made from a dense weave of nanotube fibers, the lightweight vest provides extra damage absorption by the wearer. Use the build by item, or option item in engineering to manufacture it. I think that that'd be a good thing to do, and then we can equip maybe our heavy or somebody to be a frontline kind of tank for our guys would probably be really good. So experimental warfare is just normal research and carapace armor. Slow, 16 days, fast, normal. I think sticking to fast research is really good because then we're not wasting research time. So we did armor, let's go for uh, weapons now. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Alright, let's see about this armor. It costs 20. Let's do it. Alright, we have one. Let's see the satellite. We do not have enough credits at this time. Uh, we're at 47. This is not good. I'm starting to feel the, the resource crunch in this game pretty heavily. Alright, scan for activity. Let's see what our next mission will be. Research complete. Holy moly, we're tearing through this research. Alright, take a minute. 
Give us a read, pause if you need to. Hold on, let's just make scopes. Alright, uh, scopes are going to be awesome to throw in our snipers, and they should have really, really good accuracy. And then we have some reliable hit and damage, so that'll be huge to kind of get on our guys. I think the autopsy is our only fast one left, so let's go ahead and do the autopsy. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Awesome, so that'll take a few more days for our people to research through, and I'm surprised. It's been like 15 days in the game and we haven't uh, had a new mission yet. Here's our laboratory. I feel like after the initial kind of month in the laboratory game, online. research and stuff slows down and you kind of do a lot more missions with a lot less in-base stuff. Alright, let's see if we can do... You know what? We have too little... We don't have enough resources to continue with stuff. But I do want to see if we can make some scopes before we go. Let's see, a scope. We don't have one yet, so let's manufacture a scope. I think one will be fine for now. Then we'll have an extra grenade being carried by our backup sniper. Which is always good to have. Alright. We are low on resources. We're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Okay, we have slingshot or random original game. I don't really know the difference between these two, so I'm gonna go with the random original game and see what happens. I still can't believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. All right, so the council mission, target extraction. Reports indicate a UN official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in Argentina. If this official is killed or abducted by the aliens, it would undoubtedly spread panic and reduce the effectiveness of XCOM. We need a squad of your soldiers to escort the target safely to the extraction point. So this should probably be the same as the second mission. Maybe we don't have to find the person. Maybe we just have to escort them out directly, but we will see. Our rewards will be 247 credits, panic reduction, and we get a new recruit and assault sergeant. That'd be huge for our team. We could definitely use a sergeant. We don't have one yet. We just have squaddies. So that'll be better than anybody we have. And we've lost our only assault. So this will be huge huge mission. Okay, Excellent. so let's see what we have for our team for the next day. I believe everybody should be healed up from last time. We have our two snipers. Uh, let's go through and see what we have. So we have squatty as our heavy. I think what we want to do is check his loadout and I want to make him kind of our tanky guy. So he already has an explosive to the rocket launcher. I think throwing the nanofiber vest on him is a good idea. Let's see what it does. Confers two extra health. I think that that'll be super valuable having, like he did get crit for six last, last mission and was down to one health. So being a little tankier will be huge for him. Okay, let's check out another person. So Han Sam Sam, let's check out what he has for a loadout. He was hitting his shots last time, so I think we'll drop the grenade from him and put on the scope, which should be really, really valuable. Ooh, this is where it's going to get tricky. I do want to try capturing people with the arc thrower, but I think it's important to keep Handy Henrietta as our support class, so she'll keep the med kit, because I think that's important. It can only be used once per mission, but I'm sure with upgrades, she'll be able to use it multiple times, which will be awesome. So that means, snipe butt. <laughs> you are gonna have to be <laughs> our arc thrower carrier. Getting close and personal and stunning them with the arc thrower. So this is our squad for next time. We have squatty Alex W, squatty Handsome Man, squatty snipe butt, and squatty Henrietta. That'll be our squad for the next day. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Once again, if you'd like to be a member on the squad, I will probably be upgrading the squad size in the next video. If we manage to beat the next mission, we'll have a sergeant and then unlock that research and have the credits to do so. So we'll be able to introduce some more squad members to the team. 
hopefully. So, anyhow, if you'd like to be part of the squad, leave a comment down below, and have a fantastic day. Bye.